Downtown Seymour is just off the interstate. Its fun shops and its restaurants offer up a good excuse to get out and stretch those legs. Here are a couple of very good reasons to get off the highway and visit this delightful small town. The Chocolate Spoon Cafe sounds pretty luscious now, doesn't it? The name recognizes the confections crafted by three generations of the Almond family. But inside you'll find so much more. Eva Ullman opened the business 11 years ago, taking over the chocolate making tradition of her in-laws. Her own mother and grandmother had both owned and operated restaurants. Making people smile over delicious food is a family tradition, which goes on. As Eva's husband, David hand carves the candy molds. He even does custom order pieces for companies and special events like weddings. And their son Isaac now hand makes the chocolates. But Eva also creates memorable meals with her luncheon menu and catering, which she offers only in Jackson County. She started the restaurant as a soup and bread cafe, and she is very careful to keep her prices as low as possible. Well, I just like to make it affordable so that people can come in, celebrate a birthday, buy a box of chocolates to have a little splurge for someone they love. Today's menu includes a bowl of baked potato soup with her fresh baked bread. One of her most requested entrees is her spinach souffle. And for dessert, Eva brought out a piece of her baked fresh daily coconut cream pie and one of her cinnamon roll tea rings. Both are her grandmother's recipes. This is great, but in a chocolate shop, we've got to try a couple of your candies. One of my favorites is the banana log because when we opened uh, 11 years ago, we had a lot of people come in and ask about the banana log, which was a favorite in Jackson County about 40 years ago. Well, I really like this. I mean, you get the banana from the log, of course, and then you get the pecans on top. You give that crunch and uh, the chocolate. It just all goes well together. I love the cinnamon truffle because I love the taste of cinnamon and chocolate together. I also like the homemade marshmallow, and I like it dipped in the dark chocolate the best. Eva does ship during the colder months, but if you're in the neighborhood, you'll want to stop in. Call ahead for hours of operation or check their website. Just two doors down, you'll find another amazing Indiana craftsman, Bobby G. Eldridge of Prestigious Affairs. Bobby is a Jackson County native who travels widely for his clients, but enjoys the lifestyle of a home in rural Indiana. Bobby G. was inducted into the American Institute of Floral Designers in 2002, and he is also a Kentucky Master Designer. Each year, he travels to California to oversee production of the Fiesta Floats for the Tournament of Roses Parade. And he lives and works right here in Seymour, Indiana. Who knew? Prestigious Affairs can provide a turnkey approach for events in the Quad State area, or products and services as needed. But the heart of the organization is Bobby G's design sense. I don't just use flowers. We use beautiful color, beautiful flowers, plus we'll use a lot of diverse elements. So this is just a pretty arrangement, but we're going to make it, this is what's going to give this a wow factor. My process is, is I will sit down with my clients and I will listen. First thing I do is I have to listen with an open ear. Uh, I have to really feel their vision. I have to know exactly what they're talking about. I take notes while we're talking. I may draw a little bit while we're talking so that we get on the same path. Uh, I may look at this and say this is burgundy. You may look at this and say this is red. Uh, it's all about uh, creative interpretation. Very cool stuff. Seymour has so much to offer and we've only scratched the surface. Give yourself an opportunity to stroll Seymour's downtown for a very intriguing shopping trip. For Saver Indiana, I'm Dean Wilson.